Today is a momentous day in Boise Hawks history. In fact, it's a momentous day in minor league baseball history because on this day, June 29th in 1989, 33 years ago, Boise Hawks baseball manager Mal Fitchman was ejected during a game but returned to the field disguised as Humphrey the Hawk, the team mascot. Mal was suspended one game for the stunt. 33 years ago, the Boise Hawks were in the opening month of their third season. An unaffiliated team playing in the eight team Northwest League. In fact, Memorial Stadium was brand new. It was only like two weeks into their opening of Memorial Stadium back then. Their manager was Mal Fitchman. The 5'6", 155 pound baseball lifer from back east. He was also the executive vice president, as you can see it says there on his baseball card from the season before, that'd be 1988. So 33 years ago, today, the Salem Dodgers out of Oregon were in town. And it was the bottom of the sixth inning, Hawks trailing, Paul Clough, second baseman from BYU, was at bat. Clough make con makes contact. It's a ground ball in the infield. There's a close play at first, and he's called out. Well, Clough didn't concur. Said something about the diminutive stature of the first base umpire, and then he was subsequently tossed. Coaching third at the time was Fitchman, who didn't realize Clough was sent to the showers until he got back to the dugout. So the story goes, Fitchman argued with the umpire, he agreed with Clough's assessment that if the ump was more than five feet tall, he might have had a better look at the play. So Fitchman was also ejected. But Fitchman wasn't going to let that stop him. It just so happened it was a hot day and temperatures were still in the 90s that evening. And guy who was working as Humphrey the Hawk that night, his name was Jason, I believe. He was taking a break, cooling his heels and pretty much everything else under the uh, stands. Hawk set Hawk, that head that he wears, the big old head, yeah, it was set on the ground next to him. And according to the story, Fitchman told Minor League Baseball several years ago, he asked the kid if he was done for the evening. Well, Jason said, no. But Fitchman said, well, you are now. Because Mal made off with the Humphrey costume, put it on, and went back on the field. Now, back then, Humphrey wasn't allowed on the field, so something was off from the get-go. Then in the eighth inning, when the Hawks had two on, and Fitchman went over to Jeff Mace, the coach who was now coaching third since Fitchman was supposed to be finished. Well, Jeff told us today Fitchman was relaying signs while wearing the costume. And when Fitchman walked over to Mace to tell him through the mesh of the hawk head to bunt, well, everyone kind of figured it out. The next day, Fitchman was suspended for one game. And the man who suspended him, the Northwest League president, Jack Kane, who wasn't at the game in Boise that night, but rather in Bend, Oregon. But he was on his patio in Charbonneau, Oregon this afternoon. I did get a phone call about 8 o'clock the next morning from Mel Fitzman. And he said, Jack, I did something stupid last night. I said, okay, Mel, what was that? And he told me, and I laughed. I said, that is hilarious. I think that is the funniest thing in the world. But, you know, the minute I hear from the umpires, I'm going to have to suspend you. And he said, oh, I know. So when he called you that, that morning and said, I did something stupid, did he tell you what he did that was stupid? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He told me the whole thing. He said, I got kicked out of the game. I forget what inning it was, but uh, he said, I did something stupid, put the mascot uniform on. And unfortunately, he forgot to take his baseball shoes off and his, and his stirrup, you know, the, the stirrups. And it was kind of <laughs> obvious that uh, uh, who it was, you know. So he was we, out uh, there in the Hawks mascot wearing baseball cleats and stirrups. Oh, yeah. You know, well, that's Mel. You know, but he was in a hurry. He was... He, he didn't have time to change his shoes. And so about noon that day, I got a call from the umpires. Uh, Mr. Kane, the, the manager of the Boise Hawks did really something stupid last night, blah, 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 blah. You know, followed up then with Mel, called him back. And I said, Mel, I heard from the umpires, you're suspended. And uh, he said, oh, I knew it was going to happen. You know, you know, something he probably shouldn't have done, but it was kind of funny at the time. And I still think it's funny. How many times have you told this story? Oh, God. Every time Mel Fishman's name comes up, I, I tell the story. You know, he's a, he's a big old time baseballer. That's, that's, you know, that's more power to him. Yep. Whatever it took to get back out there on the field. Yes. <laughs> a win it. is a win. I don't, it doesn't matter how you got it. No, well, it wasn't a win, actually. The Hawks apparently lost 8-4. to four. Jack Kane told us today he probably could have suspended Fitchman for more than one game, but decided his confession was worth something. We were able to track down Fitchman today. He still lives here in the Treasure Valley, but he wasn't a big fan of speaking to us about his claim to minor league fame. And, and by the way, we did find some video of this uh, in our archives down in the basement. Uh, unfortunately, it is on this antiquated uh, three-quarter inch tape, and we have no way to look at it here in the studio. And I am really excited about it because it said 629, Hawks, Salem, 
and it says good, good video right there. But we have no way of knowing how good that video is, and someday hopefully we will. But it's just, it's an amazing day in Boise Hawks history. By the way, the Hawks starting back at home Saturday for a three-game homestand against the Missoula Paddleheads.